Karen Waresh and her husband Evan savoured the holiday atmosphere Monday at the Santa Monica Pier, a hopeful sign that life as they knew it before the COVID-19 pandemic was finally coming back. On any other Memorial Day, the scene would have been ordinary, crowds flocking to the beach with umbrellas and towels as morning clouds gave way to blazing sunshine, children playing at the amusement park arcade, families posing for photos by the Ferris wheel and roller coaster as waves crashed on the shore. But after more than 14 months of life torn asunder by the pandemic, the holiday weekend brought no small measure of relief as Californians cautiously resumed doing the things they normally do, starting with barbecues and trips to the beach. The Wetchers of Santa Monica dressed for the occasion, wearing American flag shirts for their excursion to the pier and, later, a visit to a veteran's cemetery. They relished the contrast with Memorial Day 2020. Everything was shut down, said Karen Waresh, 56. The restaurants were closed. We couldn't lay out at the beach if we wanted to. Now it feels like we have our freedom back. A sign in front of the pier, do not gather. Keep your distance. Safer at home. Failed to capture the mood of this year's holiday. It's more relaxed, she said. Everyone is out. California now logs one of the lowest COVID-19 case rates of any state in the country, according to the US Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Statewide, 1,057 people with confirmed cases were hospitalized Monday, a 23% drop from two weeks ago, according to data compiled by The Times. The ebbing of COVID-19 infections is due partly to California's relatively high vaccination rates. Nearly two-thirds of Californians who are eligible to be vaccinated, those who are at least 12 years old, have received at least one dose, according to the CDC. State officials expect California to fully reopen on June 15. People who are fully vaccinated will be able to stop wearing masks in most situations. Capacity restrictions and physical distancing rules will be lifted at almost all businesses. For all the signs of a return to normality, caution was still in order Monday at the Los Angeles National Cemetery in Westwood, where the annual Memorial Day ceremony was cancelled for the second year in a row. We just want to play it safe, said cemetery director T. McMezza, who noted that a recorded program was posted online. The cemetery is the final resting place of more than 88,000 veterans and family members. The placement of flags at each gravesite was spread over three days this year to cut infection risk. But the crowds, which began arriving just after sunrise, were still substantial across the 127-acre grounds. By mid-morning, Meza had counted a few hundred people. Some were visiting loved ones. Others were there to pay their respects to strangers.